Hello guys, this is Lamin Sane of Code Logical, and in this tutorial video we're going to be having a look at how to make our lives easier by creating links to the different routes that we've been creating. So up until now we've been having to type in the URL here some route name so that we can go to that route. But that's not usually how you use a website. Normally people click on links and then they go to the pages or routes that they want. So I might be interlinking the using pages or routes to me the same, but um, just know that I am referring to the same thing. But I'll try to use route as much as possible because that's what Ember calls it, so let's stick to that. But if I do say page, just know that I meant a route. Okay, so here we are inside our app.js file and I've created two routes um, called first page and second page. So now we want to navigate to these routes and just to show that we are on that um, appropriate route, I have created two templates corresponding to each of the routes, first page ID and a second page ID. And we have text here which says this is our first page template and this one says this is our second page template. So back in our browser, let's just try to go to those routes. So on our first page, it's displaying that this is our first page template. Having navigated to the second page route, it's showing here that this is our second page template. But we don't want to be able to always be typing this in the URL. So let's write a link. Let's use one of Ember's link helpers to make that easier for us. So back in our text editor, let's have a look at where that lives. So up until now, we have been ignoring this um, handlebars um, template here, which has does not have an ID. So basically what Ember does is it looks for the script tag that doesn't have an ID and makes that the application ID. So think of it as uh, the parent um, template for all these templates. So the index template, second page template, and first page. Anytime we navigate to those routes, they're all being put inside where this outlet, outlet lives. Okay. So we'll go deeper in that in another video, but for now, just uh, stick with me. Okay. So where we want to put that link helper is inside the application template so that it is shared across all the pages. So we'll just create a quick p tag here. And if you want to link to a route, what you do is you use this handlebars helper called link. So hashtag um, link to, and then inside quotes, you give it whatever um, route you want to link to. So in this case, it's first route or more like first page that's the first route name and you close it off by forward slash and then you say link to and in between here you can put whatever text you want to show as the link name as the link text so we'll say first page so we we'll just duplicate that and in here we're going to link to second route page sorry and uh, inside the text here, we'll put second page as well. Okay, now let's go in our browser. We should see an HTML link being generated to take us to those pages. So that happens. So when I click on first page, we're taken to first page. When I click on second page, we're taken to second page. So what happened here? Okay, let's step back a little bit. So what Ember does is it understands what handlebars templates mean. So Ember can pass this and basically just spit out HTML link tags for you without you actually having to um, explicitly say that. So you could go ahead and create a p tag and just say um, a href forward slash um, hashbang and forward slash first page and in here you say first page with link and this should work exactly as our link helpers here. So when I click on here, we go to first page, same as um, these links over here, but you don't want to be typing that all the time because sometimes you may want to do special things in here, like passing maybe a model, uh, which we'll cover in another video, which you can't easily do here using this um, conventional link type. So we'll stick to using the link helpers that Ember has provided to us. So just to tell, um, just to show that this is exactly the same links um, as we use in normal HTML, we'll just inspect it 
and as you can see Ember has created an A tag for us and it does apply some classes to it which you can override but I will just leave it as, as it is and it has created the appropriate URL for us okay guys that's it for this tutorial video and um, I hope it was helpful I'll see you in other videos thanks for watching bye bye